What's going on everybody? Thanks for joining another fly tying video today. We're going to be doing a little uh, how-to video on the elk hair caddis. Um, this is how to tie in the wing with elk hair or deer hair. I'm going to be tying this with deer hair. I don't like um, elk hair as much as deer hair um, and I'll get into that in a little bit. But uh, let's just go ahead and talk about this real quick. There's a hundred videos on YouTube on how to tie the wing in. Um, I just thought I might as well just make another one. Um, there's a lot of really great tires out there that I learned this technique from, and I think some of them actually have videos out. So if you you know want to watch theirs, you can watch theirs. If you want to watch this one, great, you're already here. Um, so stick around. I'm just going to give you a little how-to. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So we've got a size 12 dry fly hook in the vise. This is a Tiemco 900. It's barbless. We've got some UTC 70 and fluorescent orange. I picked a bright color so you could hopefully see it better. Um, yeah, so we're not going to tie the entire um, caddis fly. We're just going to show. I'm just going to show you how to tie in the wing. So the first part is where to end your thread. You're going to want it almost right behind the eye. Um, maybe a half an eye length back is a great spot to put it. <clears throat> not too close, but not too far back. Um, like I said, half an eye length is a great spot to put it. So, for the deer hair that I'm using today, this is Nature's Spirit Comparadon deer hair. They have, um, I believe, X Caddis deer hair, which is really good stuff too, but this is by far the best hair on the market right now. Um, coastal deer hair works great too, but anything that's really fine um, works great for, for a caddis. Um, <clears throat> I like this because, I mean, you can see the barring. This deer hair is already pretty lined up, and there's not as much fluff in this. And we'll get into that. So how much to use? Um, depending on the size of your hook, obviously, is going to depend on how much hair you use. This is a size 12, so I'm going to want a, a pretty decent clump. I like to go off the measurements of the width of a pencil. Um, if you can see that, that might be a little much, so just take a pinch. <clears throat> that's about perfect right there. If you can see that here, that's the amount of deer hair you're going to want to use. It's about the width of a, of a pencil. It's not a lot, but it's not. you still want a good amount to have a nice, thick, bushy wing. So go ahead and cut that off right at the base of the hide here. About right there, you can see all the other cuts I've made. <clears throat> so once you cut that... The next part you're going to want to do is have a comb. Um, this is a Stonfo comb. It has a comb and then a, a Velcro brush on the other side. This thing is money. You can see all the little hairy um, fur that I've already combed out. Um, and you're going to want to comb out the butt ends of that. So once you clip off this deer hair, you're going to go ahead and, and clean out the butt ends of that. I've already got some here in my stacker. So once you clean those out, go ahead and put the tips in first into your stacker give it a few taps you can check to see if it's lined up if it looks nice and lined up you're good if you want them a little more stacked go in for round two give it a few taps pull it out looks great here so from here you're gonna want to take your left hand and grab the tips of those fibers like this now that we have all the butts sticking out go ahead and grab your comb again and you're gonna clean out clean out all those butt ends again um, you can do it twice Twice I like to do it, do it before and after a stack, or you can just do it before. It doesn't really matter. As long as you get all those fibers out, that's a really big part. So from here, we're going to take our measurement. So to measure, transfer that hair back to your right hand. Go ahead and grab those butts with your right hand. Now that we've got our, our deer hair stacked, we've got a few extra long fibers. I'm going to pull some of those guys out. Okay. Now, to measure this, you're going to want to do about the length of the body, maybe a little shorter. Either or works fine. So once you have that measurement, <clears throat> transfer those um, fibers back to your left hand. And you're going to want to take that measurement and keep that. Your, that measurement is going to be at the edge of your <clears throat> um, index finger here. So from here, you're going to grab your scissors and you're going to make a cut straight down, as straight as you can, right along your fingertips there. That looks pretty good. We've got a few hairs sticking out. 
try and keep that as straight as possible okay now that we've got a nice straight cut you're going to want to cord your thread up so to do that you're going to turn it to the right that's going to allow the thread to jump backwards as we take our first wrap so once it's corded up place those butt end fibers right behind the eye of the hook you're going to come around with one loose wrap over the top now as we as we go forward in this you want a nice firm grip with your left hand start to pull up come around with a second wrap and you're going to pull straight up and it's going to flare <clears throat> that head up and build a nice beautiful um, head on the front of the fly now still keeping a tight grip with your left hand don't let go come around with a second one tighten it just a little bit more come around with one more give it a nice turn and you're going to want to Make sure that that doesn't roll over the, the side of your hook. You might have a few fibers that roll over, but now look at that. We've got a beautiful head here. It's it's secured tight. It flares up perfectly, and I love this method more than um, coming in and trimming the butt fibers after. Usually, it's it's um, slanted at an angle. The head is it's it's not um, it doesn't float as well typically, and it just it doesn't have that that nice pretty look to it. If you can see here, we've got a nice 180 degree of um, a little sunburst head. We've only got a few fibers on the bottom. Um, you can come in there and trim those, but overall we've got a really nice head here. A nice wing. All the fibers are lined up really neatly. We've got a few fibers that we can cut out. Um, I guess I'll save that for later, but there you go. From here, you just you can just advance your thread to the eye like so, and then whip finish right at the right at the head. I'm not going to show you how to whip finish because I'm sure you guys already know how to. Anyways, thanks for watching again. I hope this helps. If you guys like these um, how-to videos, let me know in the comment section. We'll do more of these. Um, again, thanks for watching. Go ahead, like this video, subscribe to my channel for more content. Um, we're hoping to get some more videos out for you guys. Um, we appreciate all of you, and um, again, let us know if you if you like these videos, if you want us to do more, and uh, we'll see you next time.